It's Saturday, July 4th, 2020. This is the Montville Baptist Church Devotional. From Call to Glory. Deuteronomy 4, 7. For what nation is there so great, who God hath so nigh unto them, as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? The nation of Israel is truly a miracle story. From its beginnings, there is, there is a record of divine involvement. Israel witnessed the direct involvement of God in so many of their military exploits. They were entrusted with the oracles or commandments of God. The Messiah would come to the world through the nation of Israel. There is no nation so great as the nation of Israel. Having said that, we also realize that we dwell in a truly great nation that has enjoyed God's special involvement in our history. On this date in 1776, our nation declared her independence. This great nation has stood as a bastion for freedom, a refuge for the distressed, a friend of those who wish to reject tyranny and oppression. God has been good to America. We are confident that we owe our, these blessings in part to our godly heritage. In stating their grievances in the Declaration of Independence, the signers were appealing to the supreme judge of the world. James Madison was once quoted as saying, The future and success of America is not in the Constitution, but in the laws of God upon which the Constitution is founded. Benjamin Rush, signer of the Declaration of Independence, was asked, are you a Democrat or an aristocrat? He answered, I am neither. I am a Christocrat. I believe he alone, who created and redeemed man, is qualified to govern him. It is a great privilege to be a citizen of the United States of America. We should be thankful for the freedoms that we enjoy. We should be grateful for the protection we have been afforded. We should be committed to upholding the principles on which this nation was founded. We should be prayerful for all true spiritual awakening and revival of righteousness in our country. What nation is there so great as this great nation we call home? Our Heavenly Father, on this Independence Day, we pray that people would really know the true meaning of freedom, and that is in Jesus Christ. And I pray that our country would once again become great. And the only way that's going to happen is when we turn back to you, back to your word in obedience and understanding and love and dedication. Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.